What's up, everybody? Everybody, it is me, Justin Falcon, and I had a bit of a breakdown last week. Um, well, not last week, actually, a couple days ago. But I am back. I am better, and I apologize for the sabbatical that I took. Um, it was a uh, it was a weird thing that was going on with me, and I, I was a really a, just a tiny bit stressed, and I just, I needed some time to think. So I am I do apologize for that. But I'm back, and uh, I do have a plan for this video other than just apologizing. So here goes. Um, my friend Zach actually just uh, well a couple of weeks ago uh, had me download. Uh, yeah. My wife's over there. Anyways, <laughs> uh, he had me download a visual novel called Katawa Sojo, which, um, for those of you who have been anywhere on the internet, like Funny Junk or anything like that, or even 4chan for that matter, know what Katawa Sojo is. Katawa Sojo is a visual novel, like I just said, that was created by 4chan, um, with, who, who went under the name um, Four Leaf Studio. It's very well put together. I was very, very inter um, uh, surprised at how it came out, and very, it was a very pleasant, pleasant surprise nonetheless. So I, um, but I'm going to make a bit of a review of it now and tell you guys why I liked it, and I'm going to give it a bit of a rating as well. So here goes. Um, what Katawa Shoujo is about is shut that. <laughs> What Katawa Shoujo is about is about a guy named Hisao Nakai, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it, who has a heart problem called arrhythmia, which, for those of you who don't know, arrhythmia is a heart condition in which the heart can beat slow or fast or just erratically um, at different moments. And so he has to take a mountain of pills for that, and he ends up going to a new school called Yamaku Academy. And at this school, he meets, like, all these different girls and all these new people. And he, throughout the game, you make choices. And those choices that you make um, lead up to what girl you're going to be going with, the, the path you're going to take with them, and how it's going to turn out. So I think, so I... Kenji is best girl. Yeah, yeah. Yes, there is a character called Kenji. He, li he lives in the boys' dorm. He's, he's a guy, obviously. Um, he lives right beside you, and he's he has a bit of a kind of path of his own. And I'm not going to spoil that for those of you who want to play that, but for those of you who have already played that, you will know that it's a bit disappointing, but at the same time kind of hilarious how it turns out. Um, my, uh, my suggestion... Don't ever get drunk with that guy. Anyways, um, I probably my favorite path to take was a girl called Emmy, which was the first path I took. But I do have a reason why it is my first favorite path. There are a lot of different feelings and a lot of different emotions that come into play with that, and a lot of di and there's a lot of just different little tidbits about the the path that. I thought were I thought were nice and I thought I maybe have experienced in a relationship of my own once or twice. Maybe. Anyways, um, so here we um, taking all that into account, um, there are five. I think five pa different paths that you can take. Um, one is for a girl named Lily. One is for the one I just mentioned, Emmy. One is for a girl named Hanako. One is for a girl named Shizune. And... 20 years. Uh, what was the last one? Reen. Yes, Reen. One is for a girl named Reen. Um, Reen has no arms. I'll tell you all their disabilities. Sorry. Anyways, uh, I'll tell you all the disabilities now. Green has no arms. Um, Hanako is burned. Lily is blind. Emmy has no legs. And um, Shizune is deaf. And 
during her path, you have to learn sign language to communicate with her. And it's kind of weird. Anyways, um, probably my, probably the least favorite, my, I'm gonna get a lot of hate for saying this, I know I am, but probably my least favorite, um, path to take on the, on the game was Hanako. Because of the simple fact that when you're with her, like, there are sex scenes in this game, so brace yourself if you do decide to play this game. When you are doing the thing with her, it just has this feeling to it. To it. Like, even your fe- you, you get in- emotionally involved in this game. And you, it just has this feeling where it's like, eh, no. Cause, cause it's like you, you want to reach into the game and just push her away. Because it just, it, she feels just so frail while you're doing that. And it just, well, not frail, I suppose that's not the right word to use, but... For those of you who have played the game, you know what I mean. It just, it doesn't feel right at all. And so that's mainly the reason why I don't like her. Other than that, the, the, the path was nice, the, the dialogue was good, the, uh, the storyline was good. I liked it, but that was the main thing that threw me away from it. So, um, and I am going to say that if you do decide to play this, and if you do decide to download and everything, play it with the adult content on. Because if you don't, you're going to miss a lot of little tidbits and stuff that you wouldn't that you wouldn't get with the adult content. So rem- remember to do that. And um, I suppose to if I'm going to get make give this a rating, I'm going to give it an eight out of ten. Um, there were various th- there were cons just like anything that I've met. Oh, maybe a nine, I suppose a nine, because there were the good things about it outweighed a lot of the bad things about it. There were some there were some grammatical errors that I saw. There were some things that I didn't didn't like about it, like the Hanako thing, of course. But other than that, it was an amazing game. It was there was a lot of feels toward it, and there was a lot of um, there was a lot of moments that I thought were pretty cool. So, overall, well done 4chan for giving us this game, and well done on everybody who worked on it, and well, and I know I'm really behind the eight ball because I know this has been out for a while, but I'm still, I'm still, I'm still making this video, so I feel I should say that. And, yes, she's played it too, and, yes, she's bored. (laughs) And, anyways, um, I thought I thought I should make this video because it was. Don't make me a sandwich. <laughs> Excuse me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yes. Um. Anyways, I'm going to I'm going to end this video. Um. Um, but uh, before I do, I am going to tell you guys that I will be still making videos per- periodically. I will not give you a s- set um, time. I'm going to try and make it every other week now because I don't want to. Um, I don't want to tell you guys that I'm going to do it every week and then have another di- and then have a disappointment. Like I, I pretty sure I didn't make a video last week, so I don't want to disappoint you. Well. It's more disappointing myself than the eight people who actually watch my videos, but I I don't want to do that, so I'm not gonna give you a promise like that and then tell you and then just completely throw it out the window. So I'm gonna try and do it every other week, but we'll see how it happens. If it's every week, great. If it's every other week, great. If it turns out just periodic videos, I'm I apologize, but that's uh, it's I do have a life, so as um. It may not seem like much of a life, but it's there, I think. Anyways, I'm going to end this video. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, subscribe. Um, like, tell, post in the comments what if you have played uh, Tower Shoujo. Tell me what your favorite path was. And um, tell me what you guys want me to do a review on next. If you want me to do a review on anything. If you want me to do a video on something about something else. Tell me what you guys want me to do a video about. I'm going, so, um, 
yeah, I will end the video now. See you guys. Bye.